no! I look properly winded and wounded now. But here comes Sebastian Vettel! Sake. Sorry, guys. Oh, hey, Luke, are you okay? Hey. Silver vs Red F1 2018, 5 or nothing. The Formula 1 documentary that tells one of the most epic battles on track between the multiple F1 champions Sebastian Vettel vs Lewis Hamilton. My name is Danny Lozano and I'm the creator of this documentary. In this video, we gonna watch and analyze your 5 favorite moments in this documentary using YouTube analytics to discover the section of the video where the audience retention was the highest. Sebastian Vettel, Lewis Hamilton in the first two places fighting for the win in Spa. And it's lights out and away we go here at Spa. Hamilton gets away well, Perez as well, covering his teammate. Hamilton moves over to cover off Sebastian Vettel and is locking up in a crash and Fernando Alonso Wow, that's, that crash was terrible. Fernando Alonso in the McLaren with Charles Leclerc behind. Goes over the top there is Charles Leclerc. Hamilton down through a rouge. Continues to lead though. Ahead of Sebastian Vettel. And now it starts a very, very epic moment. But here comes Sebastian Vettel. Famous phrase, here comes Sebastian Vettel. It's very, very remembered, especially by Vettel fans. Passing Lewis Hamilton in the camera straight was epic. He's A very similar scene we watched in the previous documentary, previous season 2017, here in, in the same track, in the same straight, where Vettel tried to patch Hamilton, but that time the top speed of the Ferrari was very low. He was not able to pass Lewis, but this, that season in 2018, Ferrari had much better car on a straight line speed, and he was able to pass Lewis Hamilton and to take the lead of the race. Ahead of Perez, ahead of this part of the documentary I like so much as well the way I edit it. I use a very epic music. And I also I added this kind of zoom in the onboard camera of Lewis Hamilton to try to represent the acceleration. I copy this effect from Drive to Survive, the series that is on Netflix about Formula One, probably you know. And I realized they use this kind of zoom ins in onboard cameras. At that point in 2021, the moment I was editing this documentary, I copied this technique of zoom in. And now, with the safety car in, Sebastian Vettel has gone, can get his foot down, and Hamilton is following him all the way. And look, Hamilton is going to have a look into the... He cannot pass at this point, because we are just in the restart of the race after a safety car period. You cannot pass the car in front until the leader crosses the start-finish line. Breaking zone, he could go through there legally, but he's got in a bit deep, and that's allowed Vettel to get away slightly. That was a mistake by Hamilton because it allowed Vettel to get away. Hamilton tried to put pressure on Vettel, knowing he cannot pass. Hamilton made a little mistake, no connecting the apex properly and uh, losing time. Sebastian Vettel reduces Hamilton's lead, sees the checkered flag and wins the Belgian Grand Prix. Smells danger. <laughs> But they're always singing, as normally he does when he won in Ferrari. This battle in Spa with Sebastian, with Luis, the, the music uh, as well, is one of your favorite moments in the documentary. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, this analysis, don't forget, subscribe to the channel where I also share my knowledge, my experience, my analysis as a Formula One content creator and video editor. If you like my videos and documentaries, I strongly recommend you to subscribe to this channel, Danny Lozano, Loth F1. Another different moment that you love in this documentary is the editing that I made to connect the end of the, the Spanish Grand Prix with the Monaco Grand Prix and the Canadian Grand Prix. Three races that I connect using the same music in the documentary, uh, same style of editing, where I try to recap the battles on track 
between Hamilton and Vettel. 41st win from pole position as Hamilton takes the win at the Spanish Grand Prix. Hamilton wins the Spanish Grand Prix and the music starts, a piano music that you can listen in the background. And here we will start to connect the next two races. Get in there, Lewis. Awesome drive, absolutely stellar. Yes, great job, guys. Fantastic effort all weekend. This is more like it. Let's keep this up. I always try to find these moments in the onboard camera of, of the cars where drivers get out, especially of Lewis Hamilton, go to his, his team crowd. He jump up to them. I like it so much this moment. I try to include it in, in the deeds. <laughs> Very nice. And now the music starts in this part of the documentary uh, to connect, as I said, the next two races. Lights out and away we go. 227 meters down to turn one. Ricardo and Vettel getting very close together. Ricardo leads from Vettel, from Hamilton, from Raikkonen and Bottas. Hamilton is in third and Sebastian in second, but it, uh, it's, it's Monaco. It's very difficult to pass. This is uh, quite slow. Okay, copy. If you keep this pace, stay out. Yeah, I can keep it. Okay, okay, push it. Power. And now Daniel Ricciardo starts to lose in power and the engine he has to drive with only six years, dramatic, and Sebastian Vettel is pushing him for the win. And just behind Lewis Hamilton, both drivers involved in the championship battle in this documentary. Losing power was what uh, yeah. Daniel Ricciardo just said, a lockup from Sebastian Vettel. Yeah, he's with the power unit, keep pushing, keep pushing. We believe Ricardo has a power unit issue that is limiting his lap times. Daniel Ricardo, he wins the Monaco Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel comes home to take second place and close Lewis Hamilton. This is amazing win by Daniel with the car problem he had and the two protagonists on the podium. That is nice. Hamilton, Sebastian on the podium. The championship battle, you can see 96 points at this point. Sebastian Vettel. 110 Lewis Hamilton the battle still on and the music as, as I said before starts at the end of the Spanish Grand Prix and continues in the Monaco Grand Prix and then it will continue to the next race the Canadian Grand Prix championship lead Hamilton in third place the finger is being wagged though by Sebastian Vettel he has taken pole <laughs> I like this Sebastian Vettel. I miss it. This euphoric Sebastian Vettel celebrating ball positions, celebrating wins. It's lights out and away we go. Verstappen does start very well. Sebastian Vettel covers it across. Bottas has got a fight on his hands against Verstappen as Vettel goes away. Here is Vettel leading um, Hamilton in fifth place. Bottas gets ahead of Max Verstappen. Then comes Lewis Hamilton. Oh, and it's a massive... Wow, that accident was terrible. Sebastian Vettel will get the jump. We are racing here in Montreal. I, I like so much this footage of cars being filming in the wall very close. Keeps to the documentary the sensation of speed, the sensation of racing. That it's, it's the ultimate goal I want to achieve when I'm making a documentary about Formula One. Leads Bottas, Verstappen, Hamilton. Hamilton stops for a new set of tires super soft tyre and also for Lewis Hamilton as well and Ricardo has responded and coming out now Daniel Ricardo into the racetrack proper Daniel Ricardo has got a head of and Daniel Ricciardo undercut Lewis this was not a good race for Lewis he suffered a lot he was in fifth place and by the other hand Sebastian Vettel starts from Paul and was leading every single lap Lewis Hamilton okay this is strap five it's hammer time if you do want to turn the PU down, it will be HPP 7 to position 8. Is that still life? No, I need to try and get his place. Hamilton always trying to fight, even when he's in troubles, he, he wants to fight until the end, until last lap. And he will retake the championship lead! And Vettel wins, Hamilton in fifth place, and Vettel recovered the lead of the championship by one point. The battle is on the air, absolutely on, on the edge. Sebastian Vettel wins the Canadian Grand Prix! Grande lavoro, grande, 
grande, grazie mille, grazie ragazzi. This moment of Sebastian are really nice in the radios, singing always. Grazie. Vettel winning and uh, getting pole position, Hamilton suffering in Canada, Vincent in Monaco. It's a mixing of races where both protagonists of the documentary suffer different situations in race, editing with the same music that gives the right flow to chain these uh, three races in the editing process of the documentary. And, and you love it. You love it. I know because I saw the analytics. So. The next moment you love in this documentary is the end when like Lewis Hamilton finally is champion in Mexico. It's high fives for Lewis Hamilton, a five-time champion of the world. I just feel very um very content right now. I just feel very happy. But I'm really trying to cherish this moment because I know I, I won't this this moment will only last for a, a period of time and then you're moving on to the next thing. And um, time is just so precious. This is a precious moment for me. So I'm just trying to absorb it and really cherish it. And I like so much how he approached this moment. He tried to enjoy it as much as he could because he knows that the moment of glory is not forever. You have to enjoy the moments where you achieve something great because this happiness will be short will be so you have to to enjoy it these situations where you achieve something great in your life it's not necessary to be formula one world champion it can be something in your daily life something you are very proud to achieve and it's a very important lesson Lewis Hamilton give us as well still got things to achieve there's still th so many targets so many things ahead i could never ever personally classify myself as the best obviously within myself i know of my abilities and my dad always told me since 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 i was eight years old he said do you talking on the track it's not our day it's not my day it's lewis's day and congrats to to lewis i think he was just the, the better man full stop you know he drove very consistent he uh, he was very fast <clears throat> and uh, they were able to benefit and make uh, or use the advantage when we were, we were maybe struggling, but that's a quality, that's not luck. He recognized he was the best, and this kind of words by Sebastian, for me, made him one of the greatest uh, off track, because he's able to recognize his rivals when he lose. And these kind of words are very, very important for me. So uh, it didn't come for free, and uh, therefore I think, you know, there were a couple of races where they the points slipped away from us, but they did very well to, to make sure that they did. If you could see how tough it was for us from the beginning, and even 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 this year, you know, this still fighting with those obstacles and um, still. And this is the footage I love to found when I was editing this part of the documentary. Both drivers congratulate each other, hugging. The kind of rivalry everyone would like to, to have. The winner and the loser shake hands, congratulations. Everything is okay. We see you next year. That's what a rivalry should be. Coming, coming, coming stronger and stronger each year, and I feel like I'm still driving with that fierce fire that I had when I was eight years old, which I love. And uh, so I'll keep going until that goes, which I don't think is ever going to go. But I'll probably just my body clock will run out at some stage. The last image I decided to include in the documentary. That's how it ends. Both drivers watching to I don't know to the crowd to the sky together and thinking, wow, we had a very, very special rivalry. We are very privileged. That's my, my theory, but I like to think in that. Silver vs. Red, F1 2018, 5 for nothing. That's the way ends the documentary. This documentary was very special, it was very nice to edit. And it's here in the in the t-shirt, Silver vs. Red, 5 for nothing. In the stars, both at that time, both four times Formula One world champions. I think it was the first time both title contenders had four titles. Each one, the title, five for nothing, means that the winner driver of that championship will be five times Formula One world champion and the other no. That's why five or nothing for one of them. By the way, this is a t-shirt you can get in my store if you want for you. Uh, I will place a card here where you can click and to get access to the t-shirt and to buy by yourself. And in the description and in the comments below of this video, you can find also the link to get uh, one of these t-shirts for you. 
about this documentary Silver vs. Red, Five or Nothing, Sebastian Vettel vs. Lewis Hamilton. The part of the documentary where people come to watch more often on the 2018 German Grand Prix. There's two points this Grand Prix where people like to watch most. First of all, in qualifying, Hamilton is over aggressive and damaged his car. That puts Esteban Ocon maybe in a bit of trouble in the Force India as well. And who's that going very wide? That's Lewis yes. Hamilton. Here's one change. And he's stuck in. He goes wide, and at this point of the track, he damaged the car. The fourth gear then. Stop, 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 stop. It's, it's, it's this bouncing destroyed the gearbox or something about the hydraulic system of the car. It's trundling, it's trundling. No, stop, 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 stop. Loss of hydraulic. Could scrap that one. Stop. PU risk. This is a PU risk. Obviously, I try to find sad music to ambient this very sad moment for Lewis Hamilton where he has to retire the car in qualifying in the German Grand Prix in a moment where he's behind in the championship, behind Vettel by 15-20 points. It's a crucial moment for the championship where he can start to lose the championship uh, in favor of Vettel. And this retirement is very, very dramatic for Lewis at that moment, knowing he will start at the back of the grid next day on Sunday race. And this is Hamilton getting out of his Mercedes car. He's trying to push it. He tried to push the car to the box, but the box is very far away to push the car with your own hands. This moment, for me, define what is Lewis Hamilton, a true fighter. He never gives up. Back into the pits. Down at turn 10, Lewis Hamilton stopped the car. He's trying to get it moving again. I was also trying to see if I can get the car back to the garage. I was trying to push it back in the hope that maybe they could, they could fix it. Lewis Hamilton is out of qualifying. And now in this moment, he realizes it's impossible. Look at the body signals he... He looks properly winded and wounded now. When I was editing this part of the documentary, I was very emotional as well, watching these moments of Lewis suffering. Sometimes you just can't believe things happen and unfold the way they, they do. Hey, Luis, are you okay? Hey. Okay, it's all over. By my calculations, we win the championship by one point. This is a flashback that I introduced in this moment about the 2007 Formula One season, the last race where Lewis Hamilton, in the middle of the race, he suffered some kind of issue with the car and he lost a couple of places. Raikkonen won the race and finally Luis lost the championship by one point. Oh, no, no. And this is in Malaysia 2016. Battle for the championship between Rosberg and Hamilton. Hamilton suffered an engine issue, blow up. Here in this race probably is where Hamilton lost the championship, the 2016 championship. Oh. Connecting these two dramatic moments where Lewis Hamilton lost the championship in previous seasons with this one that could potentially be another moment where Lewis Hamilton would lose another championship, this time in the 2018 season. That's the meaning of these flashbacks. When you're fighting for a championship this close, kind of four days like this. Provisional pole for Valtteri Bottas! Toto Wolf cannot believe where that has come from! Sebastian Vettel, if he holds this lap together, could absolutely smash the track record here at Hockenheim. Vettel crosses the line now, and it is pole position for Sebastian Vettel in front of his home fans. Adrenaline, adrenaline. Thank you, thank you, guys. The second part of this Grand Prix and the moment you watch most is absolutely the opposite for both drivers. The moment it starts to rain, Vettel is on pole, Hamilton recovered a lot of places, he's actually in fifth place, in fourth place, I think. He goes off the track and there's a force in here of Sergio Perez, spinning off the track as well and kicking up. Bottas is ahead of Kimi Raikkonen. And uh, in this part of the documentary also I create some kind of flashbacks. I've got to try and catch Sebastian somehow. These words were said by Luis before the start of this race. He started last, Vettel started on pole. 
and this is a kind of message to try to put pressure on Vettel. I try to put this flashback in the in the Vettel's mind before to crash. Obviously, it's not correlated. It's, it was my invention. Try to connect in the driver's mind some kind of flashback that, like this one. And the second flashback before the crash that happened previous season in 2017. Vettel and Hamilton, same situation, fighting for the World Championship. Vettel starts from Paul in Singapore, 2017. In the race start, start to rain, like here in Germany. Vettel crashed with Raikkonen and Verstappen. These three were out in the first lap. Hamilton starts from fifth, won that race, and start to secure the championship. Because Sebastian punching the, the steering wheel like no 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 Hamilton started last you are start on pole you have a very big margin in points you can increase it for the championship and suddenly you lose everything you lose absolutely everything in your home in your home circuit in Germany even when I start this documentary I start to plan to make this documentary I knew that this moment in the documentary should have to be represented in a very special edit, very, very powerful edit in terms of emotions. I use the music to do that, the images, the silence. Talking about music in the documentary, I made a video, my five favorite songs of this documentary, Silver vs. Red F1 2018, Five for Nothing. In this car, you can find the video and uh, watch it, very interesting. This moment, for me, represent the whole documentary. The music starts to sound, dramatic music, and the team radio, Sebastian, that it's so sad. For sake. sake. Sorry, guys. Oh, He's absolutely desperate. Crying. Well, not much emotions. I mean, disappointed. Small mistake with a big impact on the race result. This is racing, so uh, it's my mistake. For sure, it was not a good day. And after that, uh, Luis won this race and he recovered all chances to fight for the championship. Finally, he won it, as you know. Probably this is the moment of the documentary you watch most. I'm sure you are a Sebastian Vettel fan. Obviously, you skip this part because a lot of people tell me in the comments that a lot of Vettel fans skip this part of the video. For them, I know it's so sad, but but I had to represent it. I had to represent it in, in this way because for me, it means a lot. For me, here is where the championship in 2018 was decided. For many reasons that I could tell in this video, but it, it will be very, very long. But uh, yeah, also it's a moment that you watch a lot of times in this documentary. <laughs> Kimi Raikkonen in, and uh, he will definitely. Oh no! Oh, no. They... Stop, 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 stop! This is not one of your favorite moments, I have to say, because it's not. It's not nice to see that. It's uh, one of the moments in the documentary, watching the YouTube analytics, where the audience retention was highest. Why? Because people, when they watch what happened to this mechanic, they rewatch it the moment. Definitely. There's people who like to watch this the scene multiple times to see how was the incident. This is a terrible moment, especially for the mechanic. Actually, it's recovery. Oh, no! Oh, no. They... Stop, Kimi, stop, 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 stop the car, Kimi, stop the car. Left and rear wheel's not on properly. Some people comment about this moment, how Kimi Rankonen uh, get out of the car, like he's very angry because he lost the, the race in, in this incident. He was fighting for the podium. And we just look and hope that the mechanic... Uh, no, here are the mechanics trying to help his teammate. It's okay. And this moment is when Raikkonen, that is very angry, threw the steering wheel to the cockpit. Some people say Kimi Raikkonen should be worried about his mechanic, but we don't know what happened there, behind the scenes. I hope you enjoyed this analysis. I did this same analysis, analyzing your five favorite moments in the prequel of this documentary, Silver vs. Red F1 2017, Class of Champion. In this video, you can watch that analysis. Thanks for watching and see you very, very soon in the next video. Bye bye.